last time on Siberia, after being the worst barkeep ever, we were betrayed! Let's finish this. The way you were behind there, all creepy looking, I knew this was gonna happen. Fucking... This is just wrong. Kate, help me. What is happening? What does this man want of me? He has gone totally mad. Don't worry. There must be some way of getting you out of there, and I'm going to find it. But do hurry up, my child. I am terrified he will return and become dangerous. Be strong, Madame Romansky. You can trust me. That's what got her in this mess. All right, lockpick. Yeah, my hands are back there too. Oh, you bitch! Screwdriver. Nope. Cut this thing. Hell yeah! Oh, at last, young lady. I was beginning to be desperate. I came as fast as I could. Now hurry, get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. Take the blimp. I will take the hands and set this place to self-destruct. Is this where I have a boss battle with the pianist? That'd be both inappropriate for the situation and incredibly epic. Yay! Get the fuck out. Are you all right, madam? My heart has been put to the test here, but it just might hold up. Let's go. Let's not hang around here. The really sad part is, it's a Oh. You reek of supervillain looking like that. Oh, but my god, what has happened now? Ha ha! Nice try, Miss Walker. But you are not strong enough. Not for me. So you can stop playing games now. Return the hands to me. And bring Madame Romansky back. Or I shall not be responsible for my actions. You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, grab the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm gonna find a way out of this lousy factory. No chance. You will never succeed. Ha! We'll just see about that. I warned you, Kate Walker. I warned you. Be careful, my child. You too. And don't worry. I'm a deal with this. By taking this elevator completely away from here. That's why the monitors were here. Oh, I guess that ain't happening again. The hell is that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> here now the vent that has eluded me for so long is now mine I was right they were explosives go look at that box real quick well, there's more yes haha <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh, the thing said I should blow up the leg. Oh, well, maybe I can blow up the door. Let's try blowing up the door first. Blow. Nope, not the door. Yeah, that diagram said blow up the leg. Let's try blowing up the leg. Um, I don't see anything I can interact with here, actually. Oh, let's talk to Oscar first. Maybe he knows what I need to blow up. Oscar! You have hands! Oscar, I'm back. Let's get out of here. What a pleasure it is to see you again, Kate Walker. Please take your seat with Miss Helena in the carriage. She simply is a charming lady. She helped me screw my hands back on. I must inform you, though, that regulations make no provision for supplementary passengers. I hope that you still have your ticket for Arrowbad. Oscar! Message received and understood, Kate Walker. Departure imminent. <laughs> Damn straight! Not the time. Hello? Kate, hi. It's me, Dan. Are you alright? I'm okay now, yeah, thanks. But uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess it's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Real proud. Kate, I don't understand a thing you're saying. I barely recognize you. No, it doesn't matter. How was your day? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldbergs. I finally beat Bob at squash. Uh, the cleaning woman broke the vase in the entrance hall. Well, other than that, nothing new. I see. Everything's cool, though? Yeah, yeah, everything's, uh, cool. You're not missing me at all? Oh, yeah, sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. Ah. Nothing to say? I'm so sorry, I... I I don't know what came over me. It, it happened so quickly. I just totally lost control. I was so weak, so dumb. I just can't imagine how... I just can't... I can't imagine how you could ever forgive me. What a bastard I've been. I don't know, Dan. Maybe I'm to blame somewhere in all this. Maybe I pushed you into Olivia's arms. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. What's happening to us, Kate? Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk about it when you get back, if you want. I don't know, Dan. We'll see. Well, that was just sad. Also, I need to blow something up. I am rather curious as to how, how you change so much in, like, a week. Oscar? What is it this time? Large iron rods have emerged from between the huge legs of the giant statue. The track is now completely blocked. But that's absolutely crazy. Will that madman never get off our case? I'm gonna see what I can do. I can explode it! Do you have your visa?
The destruction we left in our wake has been pretty awesome so far. Well, I think we just gotta crank this up and keep going on our way, don't we, Oscar? Oh, wait, I know. You're gonna make me buy another fucking ticket. What you looking at, man? You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on. Quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice warm train. Get a life, Oscar. I can actually interview you? Mission. Oscar, can we get going now? Really, Kate Walker? First, we have to wind up the train's mechanism. Of course. What was I thinking of? Right away, I'm on the case. See you around. I'll be waiting. You do have kind of a little mustache there. Cool. Ready, Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Hello. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. Uh, give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! What do you Mr. want? Felix. What's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. You frickin' robot, you did it, didn't you? I don't know if I should be furious or amused. I'm impatient at that guy walking, though. I'm on to you, automaton. Hey, the fountain's off. Where is it? There it is. Oh no, it's over there. Is it? Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you? Where's my package? I've come to pick up my parcel. It's waiting for you there on the counter, miss. Why, thank you. I'm leaving. See you. Okay, that is it. I feel bad. You could have just taken it out for me. Except you opened it... The fuck? Not at all what I was expecting. Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Tell him off! Understand? What I understand is this. One, 
Our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dineros. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumbo-jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. Yeah, hang up on that asshole. Whoa. Hello, reception here. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Did Hans know that something about Kate Walker? Uh, Miss Walker, Madam Romansky would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. This plot is becoming intriguing. I don't like how I have to run towards the door so I can turn around and go towards the bar, but still, intriguing. All right, ma'am. Did, did you leave the mechanical mammoth? Because that's weird. Madam Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Konkosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgotten. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. We've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Ah, oh, he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorarlberg? Hans Vorarlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. That seemed kind of cryptic. I'm also worried that she's not long for this world. I'm also worried that Hans is going to be, like, the last thing... The last thing Hans does will be meet me and then die. I don't need to do that again. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, the snow's gone. No, not the snow. The salt's gone because of snow. Who the fuck are you? Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? You've brought the train, then. Holy crap! That's good. Mr. Vorlberg, 
You have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate. Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Varlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. <laughs> I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Vorlberg. I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilene. It's, uh, my job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Vorlberg. The factory belongs to you now, and I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away on the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. It's kind of sad. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Hey, it's signed, asshole. Fuck off. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. I knew I could count on you, Kate. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right, now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. Real dumb. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Varlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure's all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... <sighs> it's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York, too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible, maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. You did not come all this way to not go to fucking Siberia. You hand them that document, and you get on that fucking train. You hand them the document, and you get on that fucking train! Or just go on the train, I don't care. Fuck New York. Fuck Dan, fuck Olivia, fuck Eddie. Fuck the chair. Jump! Yes!
Whoa! That was the end of it? Well, actually, yes, I do want to play Siberia 2. <laughs> Damn! I'm playing these credits out of respect, because <laughs> hitting that button actually, like, instantly tried to launch Siberia 2. Amazing. <laughs> I actually do want to play that right now. This, I'm really surprised, because that game was, this game was, this game was freaking awesome. I like the characters, I like the story, I like the character growth, and it was just a happy adventure through weird worlds. It was sweet. I'm really intrigued by part two also. I'm I wish I didn't want it to end right there. I wanted to go to Siberia. Guess I did go to Siberia, but I wanted to see Siberia. So many questions, though. Are mammoths alive? I guess I'll find out in part two. Damn, though, that was... That was... That was enjoyable. That was enjoyable as hell. That is what I've been waiting for. I mean, I don't know how that got so enjoyable either. I mean, that, that was... It was so simple, but so... Right. Just... Just a story. And a good one. Well, I'm now very anxious to play part two. And I'll get to that. Probably pretty soon. Thank you for watching.